How's it going guys? Thanks so much for clicking on my video. This is a tutorial on how to play all caps on the piano. I did my own piano cover version of this song a while back. People seem to really enjoy it, so that's what I'll teach you today. So let's get into it. So starting here with the bass riff using both hands, this is what we're playing. Okay, so those notes there are... like that and then just playing those in straight semi-quavers. So that's the first section and that is our bass riff. So we go from there into the melody and the bass. So let's look at the melody first. Now we're gonna play this in octaves, like that. But I'm gonna show you the notes first, just as a single line melody. So this is what we're playing. So starting here on D flat, playing these four notes. And then these four notes. Okay, so. Then we play the exact same thing, but an octave lower. Okay, so from the beginning. And the rhythm here isn't too strict um, because in the actual song he's using a sample, so it's quite loose. So just play whatever feels natural. And then the second step to this is putting in octaves. So we're going an octave higher than the melody I showed you, like this. Now my advice here is to make sure you've got this melody down off by heart so you can play it without even thinking about it and that's going to make it a lot easier when you put it into octaves because when you're playing the left hand playing the bass you won't be able to look at both hands because they're so widespread so so it's going to be a lot easier to make sure you just know that melody just know it off by heart without even thinking about it and that will make learning this piece a lot easier so that's the right hand into the left hand we're playing the bass these are the four notes we're playing Okay, so quite simple. And it looks something like this. Okay, so it's pretty simple. And when you're playing this with the melody, um, you've kind of got freedom on how you want to play the bass. Um, you could play the notes together, so it'd look like this. Or if that's too difficult, you could even just hold the note. Like that. What I like to do is play this rhythm. Because that has a nice sort of offbeat effect when you play with the melody, so it looks like this. So those last two notes are syncopated against each other. Like that. Uh, and I think that sounds really good. It's got a lot of drive and momentum like in the actual song. So from the beginning, this is what we've got. And we play that around a few times. Um, and then what we do is we play the same melody, but we play it a bit different. We play it like this. Like that. So left hand playing the melody now in octaves. And then hitting that E flat at the end. And exactly the same thing in the right hand, starting here on this D flat. So like this. And then after we hit that E flat, we go into the bass riff from the beginning with a slight variation. So the first eight notes are the same. Like that, as, as we played it before. And then we play these six notes. Okay, so. So it looks like this. And then back into the main melody. Okay, so the only difference there with that bass riff as well is it doesn't start on the one. We actually have that E flat start on the one. So I'll play it slowly so you can see exactly what I mean. Like that, OK? 
Okay, so that's all the parts of the song. I'll play the whole thing through slowly and play along if you want. One, two, three, four. 